what great commentators do, unless I'm very much mistaken. With the recent passing of legendary F1 commentator Murray Walker, it has got me thinking a lot about what makes a great commentator and what is it that they add to the experience of watching sport. But before we go, 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 let us pay homage to the great man himself, the late Murray Walker. Both of these videos highlight some truly fantastic memories about Murray and his commentating and the true eccentricity, if there's such a word, of the man in his way of communicating not only his passion but what he was seeing happening in front of him. I suppose you haven't truly made it as a commentator until you have your own taglines or, in Murray's case, Murrayisms as they became effectively known as. Some of my favourite Murrayisms were, I don't make mistakes, I make prophecies which immediately turn out to be wrong. There's nothing wrong with the car except it's on fire and, unless I'm very much mistaken, I am very much mistaken. Back in the mid-90s, uh, in the early days of console gaming, uh, I remember Murray lent his voice in, I think it was F1 96. And uh, I always, well, we played that game so much as a kid. And of course, his commentary just got etched into my memory. You know, anytime you'd play it and you'd be like, oh, it's Schumacher! Or, you know, anything along the lines of, you know, you'd be describing the weather and it'd just be like, oh, it's raining and the track is wet. You know, it's like, oh, cheers, Murray. Thanks for the obvious. But it was still all quintessentially him. And now, excuse me while I interrupt myself. A great commentator brings life into the sport, brings a passion and a level of insight which richly enhances the experience of watching it. I find a great commentator to be imperative. They are absolutely crucial to how long I stay glued to the TV and they are fundamental to the level of interest that the sport receives. I mean, try muting the volume and see how long you last. Although with some commentators this is an improvement. Whilst it's rare to find a universally loved commentator like Murray Walker, we all know a bad commentator when we hear one. A great commentator becomes synonymous with the sport, a voice of the game, which no doubt Murray Walker was. Another which immediately springs to mind is uh, Richie Benno, who is arguably the doyen of cricket commentating and is tragically missed. His trademarks, welcome back to the MCG, marvellous to be with you, and oh what a catch, are etched into the memories of cricket fans right around the world. A personal favourite of mine was, and Glenn McGrath dismissed for Chew, just 98 runs short of his century which I think encapsulates the subtle humour and dry wit of the man quite well. I encourage you to check out the Best of Benno video below, which has more classics from Richie. Sticking with cricket, uh, Tony Gregg and Bill Laurie certainly had some colourful times in the commentary box together with their own unique styles and catchphrases. Tony with that very broad South African accent, we were never too far away from a horde and forced or a right off the meat of the bat. Whereas with Bill, it was more, it's gone, and professing his love for Shane Warne and the state of Victoria. But be that as it may, cricket is certainly a poor experience without these three. It is less fun and enjoyable. Like any great commentator, they made memorable moments more memorable, and sometimes it was their commentary which made an otherwise dull moment interesting, as exhibited in the two videos below. From the voices of F1 and cricket to the voice of English football, the sound of Martin Tyler has filled many a room over the years and goes together with the Premier League like mushy peas and a pie. I usually find it unfair to criticise someone's speaking voice. We can't choose our natural tone. But with commentating, it's one of the few areas where I make an exception, as your voice will be judged. No need to worry with Martin Tyler though, as he has a astonishing, absolutely world-class voice for narrating football and feels more like an old friend than a commentator. I find Peter Drury also good to listen to. For some of Martin Tyler's best commentary moments, please uh, view the compilation video below. And no, I will not attempt the Aguero moment. <laughs> I don't think you want to hear that one from me. With my affinity for the NBA, I'm never too far away from a Mike Breen bang or a Marv Albert. For the win, yes! 
with both being among the best play-by-play -play commentators in American sports. It doesn't take too much effort for me to be transported back to those days in the 90s with the NBA on NBC. The intro to those games well and truly carved in stone for me, thanks largely to the round ball rock tune by John Tesh and the iconic Marv Albert's voice introducing the game. Here we are at Madison Square Garden for Game 5 of the Eastern Conference Finals. It's Michael Jordan and the defending champion Chicago Bulls against the New York Knicks. Ah, uh, the memories. Although nowadays, Mike Breen has somewhat taken over Marv Albert as the voice of the NBA, and probably has been for some years now. And you know it has to be something special when you get a double bang from him. Like in the below video where Steph Curry drains the game winner from way downtown. Like I said, these people add something to the sport. They enrich your viewing experience. It is not just describing what is happening in front of you. It is eliciting an emotion, a feeling, like you're actually there, which speaks to a passion that not everyone shares and creates long-lasting memories that are still talked about years later. You come to love them, you welcome them into your home, effectively, and you continue to hear them long after they're gone. In the same way that there are pictures that you can hear, there are commentaries that you can see. And, in the famous words of Murray Walker when Damon Hill won the 96 championship, I've got to stop because I've got a lump in my throat. <laughs>